Hey, what's going on? This is my 2006 BMW 330Ci. And the other day while driving home from work, the car died on me. When you start it, sometimes it stutters, especially if you get a full tank of gas. It's hard to start. It stutters a bit on acceleration. It hesitates. So that's the problems I was having. So I took my code readers here. And I read the codes and I got a 3C1E inlet camshaft sensor code. This one right here, this one is pretty cheap and it tells you everything you need to know. It gives you every code that uh, would turn the service engine soon light on. This one here is a lot more detailed. I could find out all kind of stuff with this. Costs a little more money. They both do the job, but I had to buy this one because I needed to program a new battery on my wife's Z4. So I bought that and I'm glad I did. I like this one. But either one, buy you a code reader. It told me inlet camshaft sensor, and that's what this is. So, I need to put this in this car. The inlet camshaft sensor is located right there. Kind of hard to see. It's that thing right there. You could see that bolt. That's where that bolt's in. Right there. So for me to get to that, I'm going to have to snap this out the way. I'm going to have to take this piece off. I'm going to have to take this hose off right here. And I'm going to I'm gonna need the room to clear taking this out of there. So that's got to get out the way. And for me to make an extra room, I'm probably going to take off the oil filter and the cap right here. And that should be all I need to take off to get to that piece. And the other end of this hose routes down through there. And it goes under the air filter down there. It plugs in down there. So I'm going to have to remove the air filter, which is simple. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts here. Unclip the hose back here and you should be able to pull that right out the way. So that's all I got to do to put this in. Should be a fairly easy job. Should fix my problem. But right now, I just got home from work. This car is hot and all this stuff is full of oil. So if I take that off and the hose off, it's going to leak oil everywhere. Same thing with the oil filter. It's full of oil. I'm letting it all drain down. Plus the engine's hot and it's over 100 degrees outside right now. So I'm going to let the car cool down and I'll probably do this in the morning. So I'll see y'all then. Let's start off by getting the air box out of the way. That's a simple thing to do. That is two 10 millimeter nuts holding your air box in right there. Don't lose stuff. Two little clips here holding your hose on. And that pulls right out. Air box gone. <clears throat> Set that down. One of these hoses right here, I can't tell which one, probably, no not that one. Uh, probably that one under there. Kind of hard to see in the dark right now. But once I undo, once I undo the camshaft sensor from back there, I could just follow the hose and figure out which one of these plugs is the one for the, for the camshaft sensor. I realized I keep calling all the wires hoses. I'm calling everything hoses. I'm not used to talking to myself and working on my car with one hand while holding the camera with the other hand. I'm not a mechanic by trade. I don't know the names to all the parts. I'm just trying to hurry through this. I'm sure if you want somebody that knows all the parts, they got other people making videos that are way too long, talking about things you don't want to hear, and telling you to like and subscribe to their videos. I'm not that guy. First thing I'm going to do is get the oil filter out of the way. This is a 36 millimeter that's on there. I bought a socket just for that. Oh, it makes that so much easier. I took the oil filter out and I covered it up because I don't want to drop anything in there. You squeeze both sides of this and just pull it back and it comes off. Be careful. You do not want to break that. That's a pain in the butt to replace. Looks like the next thing I'm going to have to do is undo this clip right here and pull that connector out and then I could unscrew this. Okay, so I undid the connector back there, the wire, and I found out that this is a 32 millimeter, which is also the same size as your fan clutch tool if you have one. Your fan clutch tool that you use to take your fan off down there, it's the same 
size is this. So I'm going to undo that. And I know that's, I just turned it, I just loosened it. I know that's going to be full of oil, so I am I was going to try and take a rag and shove it under there, but there doesn't seem to be room. Hopefully it doesn't leak a lot of oil. I'm about to just take it off and see where it goes. Let me do this with my right hand. I am right-handed. Uh, I see a little shiny in there. Here it comes. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I got this off. And that wasn't bad at all. But now you can see. Let me set this down. There. Is that camshaft intake sensor. That appears to be about a five millimeter holding it on, but I need to get this out the way. This down here is a 19 millimeter. This is the only wrench I have. I already loosened it a bit because it's tight as can be on there. But I'll undo that. That is, that's probably gonna pull. I'm hoping it doesn't leak much oil. It's probably not bad, but I just don't want oil all over the car when I go to start it. Take that off. Okay. Uh, it's actually not leaking any oil, so that's good. Now with that out of the way, I could get that camshaft sensor out. That is a five millimeter getting in there, still a little tight, but now with everything out of the way, this should come right out. Let's pull it out and see. Still a little trouble getting my hands in there. I'm a big dude. There we go. I got that. And I still don't see where it's plugged into yet. I could see it running back there. I don't know where it's going yet, but it's off. With a flashlight in there, I found the other end of the connector. It is right down there, and I really don't know how I'm going to get my hand in there. I'm going to try and reach through this way and just see if I could feel around and pull it out. I'm going to have to put y'all down for me to do that. and. If I get it out, I'll tell you what I did. So I reached my hand behind the alternator there and I dug around and I felt the wire and what I found was it was disconnected. I don't know if it got disconnected when I pulled the wire from up here. I still have it here. I don't know if it got disconnected when I pulled up on it or what, or if it was always loose. But I found where it plugs into right there. If you could see that, I got a flashlight blinding me right there that's where it's supposed to plug into so I don't know if mine was loose the whole time or what but I'm gonna route, route that right back and plug it in so I just routed my new sensor through the engine and it is plugged in right right there can you see it let me see man the angle there it is there it is it's plugged in right there and I have to keep stopping because my wife decided she wants to use the lawnmower and so far, far she's ran over an extension cord, a bench, a tree stump, uh, some decorative gardening blocks. She keeps hitting stuff with the lawnmower. She's messing shit up out there. I'm going to have to fix that next. But I'm going to go ahead and screw this back in with its 5 millimeter bolt. I'm going to put this back on right here, screw this piece in, put the connector in, put my oil filter back on. Put my air box in and I should be done. I'm gonna clear the codes on the car with my tester and then I'll run the codes again and see if that cleared. So I put the car back together in reverse order. I took everything apart and even after being careful I still dripped oil on the car while putting the oil filter back in. I plugged in my scan tool 
And I was going to show you, I got 48 stored codes in this car, but a lot of them are meaningless. Some of them are like the mirrors don't have power, or the windshield washer pump doesn't work, or things like that. Things that I know are wrong with the car anyway. Things that don't even matter. And the, the code for the inlet cam camshaft sensor was actually already erased. I plugged this one in, and it read all the stored codes. It was still there, so I cleared the codes and tried to read it again, and it won't read any codes now until I drive the car for a bit and the service engine soon light comes back on. But that was a pretty easy job to do. I don't know how much a mechanic would charge to do it, but I can guarantee you I can't afford it. And that was pretty damn easy. So, there you go.